Reporting arrival at surface entry dock. Mission to planet Earth complete. Descending now to city spaceport. Bay 1. Flight information log. Pilot head of security Octavia. Passenger male alien Professor Evans. Operations commander will report immediately to explain why routine approach signals were ignored by base control. This is a journey I shall remember for the rest of my life. My first trip to Medusa. here to meet us. No. I don't understand. Come with me. Where are we now? The city center. There are no people. I've never seen it like this. Is it a holiday? You're taking me to see the president? Octavia. This is impossible. What's happened? It's the end of time. It's the end of time. The end of time. It's the end of time. Time, 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 time. time, 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 time. for you everywhere. Yes. What's happened? I don't know. I was working in my apartment and suddenly I heard this high-pitched scream over the video circuit. I heard it too. Then the screens went blank. So I went into the corridors. They were crowded with women, all heading in the same direction. None of them would speak, none of them would answer. Where were they going? Out of the city. That's all I know. And the men. We were ordered back to our dormitories. They too went back like zombies. And then? Come, and see for yourself. Are they dead? No, in a deep coma. Nothing will wake them. Just after the screens went blank, the hypnomarts in all male dormitories were turned on from a central control. We have to find the reason, the cause. If we could find the women. I don't know where they've gone. But the entire female population can't just have disappeared. What lies outside the city limits? Graveyards. Octavia, I was brought here to see the president. That is now impossible. To arrange for the exchange of hostages. A small matter at this moment. Not to me. My government is insisting that Dr. Becker and Dr. Schmidt are returned. Well, if I can't see the president, may I at least see my colleague? Not now. Octavia, I insist upon knowing why I can't be allowed to carry out my mission. It is far beyond your intellect to comprehend what is I know quite a lot about Medusan customs, but nothing I've found since I've been here would make sense of any of this. Liz, when I was searching for you, I thought I heard a voice. <laughs> Just an echo. It sounded like the end of time. Are you sure? It means something to you. I found that phrase once in some old records. I asked the president what it meant. She went rigid with shock and refused to answer. I never dared ask her again. Yes, the computer. 
Why are all readings at zero? It can only mean one thing. There is no future. The day star sets, Octavia. Yet the night star cannot rise. We are in paradox. That man, what is he doing here? He's an alien of no importance. Uh, I am I'm here to see President Clara. Clara is dead. I don't understand. Assassinated. You have no proof of that, Peter. I've been waiting for your arrival. I must talk to you in private. Very well. When I've paid my respects, we shall talk. Fidelia, take charge of the alien. You must be very tired after your long journey. I shall take you back to the city. No, no. Rudy, even if you do track down the hypnotic control, what then? Get the domestics back on their feet. Find out what's going on, then. And? The user may be self-supporting, but it still needs maintenance. Food, water, oxygen supplies. The women may have abandoned the city, but we have to live. Ah, that's better. As I thought. It's linked to the destiny computer. Rudy, be careful. We're playing with something we don't understand. It's the only explanation. Clara had not reached her span. No one or mid-user would dare assassinate a president. That's unthinkable. Then explain the paradox. Well, I can't. I've seen the body. There are no signs of violence. I have reason to believe she was assassinated by an unknown power, an alien power that left no mark. Leave it, Rudy. Let's get away. They could activate the current circuit again. Unless there's a cutout. There must be a time condenser in one of these banks. Too complicated for a man. I'm going to prove that wrong once and for all. Well, let's try and find the women. Perhaps they know of some disaster, something that might hit the city at any moment. So they left the man to the fate. <laughs> yes, that would be typical. Can I leave you to your fate? No. Well, then, let's go. Now. We'll just see if there is a cutout. I lay a charge against that man for sabotage and against that woman for the murder of our president. Why have all these men been put to sleep? It is the automatic procedure when time ends. And time ends with the death of a president? That is how time is calculated on Medusa. The lifespan of a president. Until a new president is elected, it is said we are without time. You still haven't explained these. Medusa is without a mother. Without a mother to love and control them, these men could rise. And take over power. They tried it once in our history. It's a period of great fear. And fear can lead to panic. You have laid a serious charge, Cedar. You will have to substantiate it. When did you last see Clara? I've been seeing a lot of her lately. We've been discussing the possibility of an exchange of hostages. The last time. When was the last time? Well, just before. Just before? She was the last to see her. I saw her go in as I came out. That doesn't prove she was the last. There could have been another. We found her and the Earth male in the act of sabotage. What more proof do you need? That wasn't sabotage. We were trying to reprogram the hypnomat. Why? To wake the men, to find out what was happening. To wake the males. She admits it. It was a planned insurrection. First kill the president. Then use a time of lamentation to raise the men and take over the city. I demand we revive the ancient punishment for this awful crime. Could it have been a disease? There's been no disease on Medusa for centuries. An accident, then? Any accident of president would have been predicted. But... I will answer no more questions. You will sleep now. I don't wish to sleep. You have no choice. Your eyelids are already heavy.
Michael, what have they done to you? No one told us what was happening. We had to find out somehow. You could have come to the spaceport to meet me. I didn't even know you were back from Earth. No one knew your time of arrival. She's lying. The flight control base was deserted. Ring had your trial. I'm not yet convinced our president was assassinated. To prove that, there must be an autopsy. You will go to the senior physician and request it on my authority. I warned Clara about you many times. How you were working your way into her confidence, trying to become her favorite instead of you. Now that's enough, Vida. Carry out my instructions. You will be placed in your quarters under guard. This is nonsense. She laid that charge out of spite. You're under guard for your own protection. Vida wants your life. And she may not wait for a trial. How does it work, this hypnomat? There is an initial search to put you out. Then a renewable pulse every 15 minutes or so. That's what I must have felt when Fidelia was leaving. Are these doors locked from the outside? How more sensitized. They only respond to hand vibrations from women. Somehow we must get to Liz. There's no way. Our only hope is that she can somehow get to us. to keep awake. This Evans man, is he some sort of leader on Earth? A leading academic, Liz's head of department. Hmm. As I thought, so she obeys him. What are you getting at? Don't you see? The insurrection was timed for his arrival. He was to lead it. It all fits perfectly. Well, physician? The body chemistry is not reacting normally. You should have consulted me earlier. We can no longer trust Octavia. She's been contaminated by Earth contact. Will you stop chattering over there? Thank you. There has been a severe attack on the bowels of the heart. Caused by? Poisons. The nature of these poisons? I do not know. They are of alien origin. That is all we need to know. I do not know. You're an ignorant fool. There is something strange. She dreams. But how can the dead dream? But that the thought of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. No traveler returns. But that the thought. Yeah, but that the thought of, of something, something after, after death, death, the undiscovered, undiscovered country. Uh, 
Out. Quickly. Out, both of you. Where's Liz? On the surface. If you don't hurry, you'll be next. Rudy? Now you know the way? Yes. Tell Octavia that Liz has five micro orbits, that's all. That means less than an hour. Come on. Flat on the floor! Rudy! Rudy! Come on! You two will take a patrol to the surface. And you will come with me to arrest Theda. No one leaves. You will all remain here until the execution has been carried out. When the new president is elected, you will be arrested and charged with treason. I shall be the next president. I, Theda, who has saved Medusa from insurrection. She moves. Is she alive? Her heart beats faintly. It is strange. Tell me what it is, this alien disease. Tell me exactly. attacking the ventricles of the heart. But there are no bacteria on Medusa. Liz may have carried it. Could have lain dormant for a while. <laughs> Perhaps even a sneeze could have passed it on. Is there a cure? Antibiotics. We have no such thing here. I have. Pass me that bag. I like to be prepared for emergencies when I travel, especially to another planet. I shall now give you a lesson in Earth medicine. We shall die, Rudy. If we die, we'll die together. You came for me. You came for me in the empty city. How could I leave you now? There is so little time now. Time begins again. <laughs> Time begins again.
Time begins again. Time begins again. Then it is agreed. Rudy and Liz will return to Earth. At the moment, Fulvia, Adam and Shem set foot on Medusa. Why not take the first step? After all, I did save your life, Madam President. And I'm grateful. But in doing so, I was able to save the lives of Liz, Rudy and yourself. Three to one in our favor. Have a safe journey. Uh, goodbye, Liz. Bye, Shem. Rudy. Bye.